If you own an iPhone and an iPad for a few years, you know that they start lagging a little bit after a few updates. I have this iPad mini 5 which is just about 2 years old and I can already see a bit of lag here and there. So you can only imagine how it is on the iPhone 7, 8 or 10 etc or the older iPad Air models or even the minis. So in this video I am going to show you how you can make your iVoice device feel faster. So if you are new to the channel subscribe like this video guys. Let's begin. So the first thing that you can do is clear the RAM on your iDevice. To do this press the volume up and volume down button immediately and keep holding the power button until you see this power up message and here you need to press and hold the home button. If you don't have the home button you can also use the assistive touch. Now once this is done you will see this password screen as you can see. So you can do this basically every once a week or so just so that it doesn't clog up the RAM. Now let's get down to some settings you can do. Go into the settings and general and here you will find the airdrop. You can go ahead and turn this off. Now this is just another process running in the background. Also saves the battery. Also go into the handoff and just disable this. These are useful only if you have multiple iOS devices and if you use them importantly. So disable this if you don't. Also go into the app background refresh and you can just turn this off. But this will impact the workflow a lot. So what I suggest is just turn on this feature for only those apps that you really want to run in the background. Let's say I want the Netflix to run in the background and download episodes. So I'll just enable it for that particular app and the rest I can disable them so you get best of the both worlds. Now the next step is to go into the accessibility and here click on the reduce transparency and this will immediately sort of impact the performance you can notice this especially on older iPads or iPhones as you can see this will basically create that sort of cool blur effect but you can just disable that and it feels a lot faster and more responsive in terms of UI so definitely do that also you can disable the motion which basically sort of disables all the animations and it kind of feels lifeless so I personally wouldn't turn these off I would like to keep them on but definitely turn off the transparency that would be better. Also on the same page go into the Siri settings and just disable this. Most people don't require this so just disable that as well. Now the next settings is to go into the Siri and search and here just disable all of these things as you can see here. Now you will notice that the spotlight becomes a lot faster as it does not need to index a lot of things or sort of bring those Siri suggestions. So definitely disable all of that. Also go ahead and disable CD when locked. Now most people don't require this but if you really want that you can keep it on. Can't really help it but I would actually go on and suggest disabling the CD itself. I mean just disable the listen for hey Siri so that it doesn't have to keep the microphone on and it will also save the battery so definitely try and do that. Also a lot of people have this habit of killing these apps from the multitasking tray. Now this is not a good practice as it basically puts more stress on your RAM and the resources. So don't do this frequently maybe once in a couple of days and restarting the iPad your iDevice also is a good idea which most people don't do in months so maybe restart the device once a week or so is not really a bad idea. Now the next little thing that you can do is go into the privacy and disable share analytics. Now this does not really improve your performance by a lot but it's another process that you can disable if you want so you can do that if you want. Also those newbies may not know that dynamic wallpapers can really reduce the performance especially on the older iDevices. So just stick to the normal still wallpapers which can also help the performance and the battery as well. So that's been it guys these were some of the settings that you can do on your older iDevice to make it feel smoother and faster which is very important more than having those fancy looks or aesthetics. So let me know what you think if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to the channel. That's been it thanks for watching I'll see you soon.